everyone, welcome back to Gen Con 2018. My name is Ann Richmond. I am your community manager at Active Player Network. I am sitting here to tell you about Spring Meadow and really to learn more about Spring Meadow from one of its editors, Roman. Hello. Hi. Nice, <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. All the way from Germany? Yeah, all the way from Utrecht, from the Netherlands actually. But that's oh, all the way from based, the Netherlands. We are based in Germany. That's amazing. That's <laughs> and this is you. You were just telling me this is your first Gen Con. First Gen Con, first time in the states. So what a way to do excited. it, right? Yeah. And how has it been for you so far? It was really amazing. Yeah. Really amazing. Yeah. It's quite different to the German fair, to the Spiel. <laughs> um, but I really like it. I yeah. Really and what's it. what's been your favorite aspect so far of just being in the mix of the con? The the favorite aspect is I think that the here there's a lot more entertainment than it's not just buying games or yeah. there's so much around the there, whole there's events. There's cosplay, uh, there's music, yeah. everywhere yeah. you look there's always something going on. Um, but you it's cannot like, ignore this beautiful board um, and I would love to learn more about it. This yeah. is the third in a series, correct? It's the third in the trilogy. Exactly. Okay, yeah. great. And the trilogy is... is Cottage Garden. Cottage was Garden. the first game. Um, then Indian Summer. Okay. And now we have uh, Spring Meadow. Perfect. Yeah. Now, just because I'm new to this and yeah. I want to make sure that any of our active players out there can understand, what are the differences between these three different games? Yeah, if you if you look from the outside, it, it looks similar because mm -hmm. it's the same uh, mechanic. It's tile placement, right. of course, in all of the games. But in Cottage Garden, we had tiles without holes. So this you, you can see okay. there are holes in the tiles. Yep. This is what we introduced in Indian Summer. Okay. Um, and Cottage Garden is a game where you win if you have the most points at the end. Where Indian Summer was a game, a racing game, when you finish your board you first. Want to finish first, okay. And this is a hybrid. Where, okay, yeah. so you got a little bit of both. Yeah. So that's how it kind of stacks yeah. up. And so everyone has their own boards. Mountain board, yeah. Okay. Exactly. And yeah. then you're, are you trying to strategically place these to reveal holes or no? No. So the holes, the burrows where the marmots live. I was going to ask when the burrows would come into play <laughs> and when I would see a marmot. <laughs> 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 so these these mammoth barrels are in the first time they are um, actually um, hindrances. Okay. So you cannot place a tile over a marmot uh, barrel uh, so that you cannot see it anymore, so that you cover it. Okay. But what you can do is that you place it in a way that you see it through the hole. Okay. That's what we call a cleared barrel. And this gives you the ability that later on in the game you can cover up another hole. Okay. And then a marmot will come out of the burrow and say, hey, why are you blocking my exit? Of course. And that's a bad happy. thing? Yeah, that's a bad thing. I, Actually, okay. it's... it's the, well, it depends, the, I the guess. The marmots on are very cute, but you don't... <laughs> you want if you like to, home, then yeah. great. Yes. <laughs> but maybe yeah. not for gameplay. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Great. And so, and just so I understand, yeah. the hole mechanic in yeah. the tiles, this was something that was positive in Indian Summer. It's also positive here. Okay. Um, the, the special thing is if you connect more than one hole uh -huh. next to each other, then you will get additional tiles, these okay. hot tiles that we have over here. Um, so you can fill up spots that you left maybe in oh, your that's grid. Good. And and the, the the size of the rock tiles depends on how many holes you connect into a network. Okay. So if I next turn I, I connect okay. another one, I already get a two size rock tile. So this is an advantage that it's better and better every turn. Gotcha. So and this I is the kind of thing where you can get different sizes yes. of these to fill bigger holes on your board as you go along. Yeah, or get a bigger advantage because um, there are uh, intermediate scoring rounds, scoring okay. phases, um, that are dynamically triggered. Uh, we have this signpost that okay. moves along. I, I, I pick uh, one out of the path where the signpost mm -hmm. is, and then I move it along, and then it's the next player's turn. And once the signpost is in a row where there's only one tile left uh -huh. or less, then there will be a scoring. And okay. during the scoring, we will count from uh, from the bottom to the top every completed row and the first uh, incomplete row. Okay. These are my points, so every space is okay. basically a point. 
And if I have the most points, I get a hiking pin. Hooray! Okay, so this all takes place just from a yeah. an aesthetic standpoint. This game takes place in the mountains. In the mountains. Whereas the other games, one was in a cottage garden, yeah, cottage obviously. Garden. Yeah. And then you have kind of a forest yeah. fall feel yeah. to the second game yeah. in so Indian Summer. We had we always knew that we want to do a trilogy, and mm -hmm. then we were we were in the dilemma. Okay, we have now two uh, seasons, and now right. we have to cram two seasons in one game, in the last <laughs> game. So. Now, this element here, yeah. um, this is a compass. This is the so compass. So how, how does this come yeah. into play? The compass is, in the, in the beginning, it's very easy to see if the board is full. It's very easy to see where I pick a tile from. Right. But if it gets uh, emptied out, then sometimes it's really hard to remember where I took a tile from. And uh, it's always allowed uh, to try out if this tile fits into your okay. grid and then if I, I'm not happy so with it, I can change keeping it. keeping track yeah. of where you it's are just, in the range. It's just a, a placeholder so that you can find, if gotcha. you want to change your mind, try another one. That's very cool. Now, yeah. one thing I know mm -hmm. is always really tough for new players um, and some players who are kind of new to puzzle games and things like this. Yeah. How easy is this to pick up? So, uh, Cottage Garden was the easiest mm -hmm. game from, from the series. So that's series. A definitely a good entry that's, point. That's an entry point. Um, and then uh, I would play Spring Meadow because it's it's not as complex as Indian Summer. Okay. Uh, you have always the immediate reward if you connect the holes and you mm -hmm. get always get something where in yeah. Indian Summer you really have to plan long term ahead to really to make trigger sure you reap the benefits. Yeah, to reap the benefits to its full extent. Yeah. So and this is somewhere very, in between those two. In between and it plays very quickly. Yeah. It's like fifteen minutes per player wow, or something. Fifteen like, minutes. Yeah. Okay. So this is yeah. this is a great thing. Maybe yeah. you know you don't have time to take out one of those longer yeah. board games. It looks like the setup is really it's easy as well. Easy, yeah. You know, there are so many different types of games out there, but it's sometimes like, yeah. for newer players, something like this is really much better to take yeah. out of the box so you don't have that overwhelming flipping through the rule yeah. book for setup before you can even start to learn the rules of the game. Yeah. Yeah. And it's the biggest uh, game in the series. And it also has a very crisp solo mode. So if you're into solo playing, um, that's perfect. Yeah. So basically, so. if you don't have people coming yeah. over and you want to break this out, you can still play on your own. Yeah, it's that's a, really great. With the scoring system, where you have to beat the score to uh -huh. count it as a victory, and it's <laughs> really, really, it's really, really hard. I didn't. You didn't do make it. it. No, I, I did it like at the fifth time. So. I challenge you. I don't think you <laughs> can make is it throwing in the first down. time. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, Roman, this has been such a treat to sit down and learn a little bit more about this. Yeah, thank you um, for having me. I'm so happy that you were able to sit down with us. Guys, let's play Spring Meadow. Yeah. Thanks for joining us here on Active Player Network. Now it's your turn to get the game because we're going to be giving away a copy. You can take a look at the info below the video for how you can enter for your chance to win. If you liked the video, please go ahead and subscribe to us on YouTube at youtube.com slash activeplayernetwork. Make sure you don't miss out on blogs, blogs, and giveaways by heading over to our Facebook fan page, facebook.com slash activeplayernetwork, and hitting the like button. Join our discussions on Twitter at ActivePlayerNet and follow our antics on Instagram at ActivePlayerNetwork. We'll see you next time on Get the Game. Play on.